The Dark Souls series has captured more hearts than the Phantom Thieves, and has come to be one of my favorite video game series ever. The diversity of every game is astounding, and it really is fun to look at the differences of each game and experience each one differently. Today, I would like to take you on a journey throughout the land of Lordran, Dranglick, and Yarnum, through every bonfire and death that the game has to offer. This is How Dark Souls Has Captured Mine. Now, this is more of an introductory video. The topic of today's video will be lingo and phrases of each game. Since the Soulsborne series has such an active player versus player scene, there is a lot to talk about here. When making a Dark Souls character, there are a variety of classes to choose from and each class favors and disfavors certain stats. For example, a very heavy and strong character is called a tank who often chooses the knight class who favors strength. When you choose the mercenary class and f go for a very dexterous build, you will often be called a... Basically, dexterity builds are for nerds and scum. Now, in Dark Souls 1, a term often heard and used is called Giant Dad. Basically, a giant dad is a super heavy character. They can take many hits and can dish out a good bit of damage. This is accomplished by either buying or looting the giant set from Anne Orlando. It is a gold armor set like most of the enemies in Anne Orlando and has a blue banner on the chest. A boss in the game known as Pinwheel can drop a random mask when killed. It is always guaranteed he will drop one, but which mask he drops when killed is a random chance. The masks are Mask of the Mother, Mask of the Child, and the Mask of the Father. The Mask of the Mother increases the wearer's health by 10% and is able to be stacked with other health boosting rings and armor. This mask is also used for a build called Giant Mom, which is the giant set with Mask of the Mother instead. The Mask of the Child is regarded by most to be the worst to get, and boosts stamina regeneration by 22.5%. It doesn't even boost the amount of stamina the wearer has, but it can be stacked with gear that does. Finally, the Mask of the Father. This mask boosts the wearer's equip load by 5%, and is often stacked with the Havel's Ring and Giant set to get the Giant's Dad build. The Giant Dad slash Mom build is not very versatile in p player versus environment, and is generally used only in PvP. The origin of this build is from late 2012, when an unnamed user created a min-max build made with these stats. 48 Vitality 12 Attunement, 66 Endurance, 16 Strength, 10 Dexterity, and Base Stats for the rest. The build was quickly spread and is often used as a powerful meme build in Dark Souls 1 PvP. If you are interested in this build, the Dark Souls wiki shows the original build on the page for Mask of the Father. Twinking is a term used throughout all of the Souls games. You see, Soul Level is what is used to calculate matchups and in invasions. After you have gathered high level gear on one character, sometimes you can move that gear onto a character with a much lower Soul Level. Then you can use that gear to invade other low level players in a low level area. This is often what is called twinking or being a twink. People who do this are incredibly annoying, as I've faced some Pv in PvP matches before. The counter I've seen with these builds is since the invader is so low level, they will often have low health or at least four relatively low stats. If the character is going a heavy build, adapt to use a rapier or other high dexterity weapon. Spellcasters such as sorcery users are often very physically weak and have low strength. Punish them for this, and you may just find yourself with some of the invader's souls and a sense of victory. 
Another term often used in Dark Souls is called ganking. Ganking is what most people would call teaming or ganging up on. When you invade, you will often find the invadee to have one or two people with them as protection against other invaders or the other in-game enemies. Ganking can also be used when describing PvE, though. For example, when you are surrounded by four hollow zombies and all four attack at once, you probably died, and it was an example of being ganked. Okay, now it's time for the lightning round. AoE means area of effect, like a large pillar of fire appears in front of you. That was an AoE attack. Aggroing, or pulling an enemy, is when you draw it away from its original spot and kill it. Fishing is when a character refuses to fight normally, and instead repeats the same action over and over. Invaders will often attempt to backstab you repeatedly, and are fishing for backstabs. Something I did not know about until researching for this video is an oki. Oki is short for the Japanese term okizemi, sorry if I'm pr pronouncing that wrong, and is used to describe attacking an enemy that is down on the ground. Let's say an invader knocks you down with a giant club. Most invaders will t try and time the frames perfectly so that their next attack will hit you right as your invincibility frames would run out. A chain backstab is often used in this example as okizemi. However, not all okizemis are fishing for attacks. Whiffing an attack is not a phrase that is used often, but it means you missed an attack or the enemy dodged it. Spam is exactly how it sounds, repeatedly attacking in hopes to kill an opponent. Smares get pretty annoying though. Thank you all for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to make many, many more things like this in the future, so I hope you support me with them. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment as a way of showing your support. Thank you, and I will see you all in the next video.